In this episode, I'm going to cover a handful of news items out of Atlas Earth this week, as well as further discussion on some questions uh, that viewers had that uh, I tried to answer in the last episode. We'll talk about those a little bit more. Um, a big article posted from the Atlas Earth uh, moderation team, as well as a juicy tidbit that was dropped in Discord today that may have flown under your radar. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. If you're new here and you've just been maybe surfing around looking for a new app to use to make a little bit of money on the side, you found it. Uh, I've found that over the last several months, I've been playing about five and a half months, that as you can see on my screen, I've made almost $100, just over $95 there uh, at this point in time. And uh, basically, uh, you can check out um, I will leave a link in my show notes, a, a great video I just did that pretty much encapsulates the whole game and talks about it. Um, I titled it, you know, things you should watch, uh, video you should watch before you start playing Atlas Earth because it really breaks everything down. Either way, uh, if you use my uh, referral code in the show notes, you will get 200 free Atlas bucks when you hit the 11th parcel and I get 100 out of it as well. So it's a win-win situation with you getting twice as much out of it as I do. So I do appreciate that and it helps me go keep going in the game as well. So uh, second to that, I want to say a big shout out to uh, viewers and longtime supporters of the channel, KGM Jam and Gathering the Magic. They are the most recent uh, super thanks uh, givers to the channel. So I always appreciate it when people give me a super thanks. Not a whole lot of them come in, but what do come in, they help keep me going, keep the channel going. Um, I don't really have any other sources of income outside of that and the usual things that come in, um, not too much from actual YouTube. So I do appreciate it. And all also, I want to say that, hey, uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and leave a like on the show because that also helps out. Okay, right up front, I want to say Vakoman and Bienvenu. I uh, hope I didn't but butcher those too bad. Two newest countries to uh, the game uh, started within the last week and a half, uh, Germany, and then France went uh, live a couple days ago. So welcome. And once again, uh, if you're new and you're just getting started, one, use my referral code. Two, check out the video that I have linked in the uh, show notes, uh, and that will get you off on the right foot. Okay. With that said, hey, I need to step back and say, check this out. In the last year... We have welcomed Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Ireland, South Africa, Mexico, Germany, France, and in the not so distant future, South Korea and Japan. So this game is uh, on fire. This game has made a lot of progress this year. Um, I don't make any profit off of it one way or another, really, um, and I'm not paid by the team, but I like to see a game that is uh, has a small production team, but they're making a lot of headway with the game, and they keep moving forward because I've been on board with some other games, which, you know, moving forward with the game is a tough process, right? And it's there's a lot to it. So uh, whenever I see a game moving forward, making a lot of changes, it's not just opening up in other countries because there's a lot of obviously red tape and everything going on just to get into the new countries and then once they're up and running in the, those countries they have to jump through a lot of other red tape to get these other subsystems within the game up and running like the AMP program which they're working on getting up and running in countries outside of the United States so as we all know there's different laws everywhere especially around money and how charge cards works and stuff like that so either way I just wanted to say that uh, it's taking a step back the game has made a lot of progress in the last year. Okay, now, um, second off, um, one of the big uh, discussion topics out of my last video was a lot of people, and this came from a, a, a viewer uh, in the form of a couple questions. Um, the legendary parcel upgrades has been in place for, I guess, two months now, uh, maybe a month and a half. Um, either way, um, there was this issue popping up where people were reporting that they were accidentally buying the uh, 2500 uh, Atlas Buck uh, legendary parcel upgrade. 
Okay, I've never bought one, so I didn't know if there was an intermediary screen like there is for the other ones. Uh, you know, you tap on it, and then it basically says, are you sure you want to spend this? Um, so um, this uh, question came in, and I had kind of a, I didn't have a for sure answer. Well, we got that answer just the other day, uh, a couple days ago when the France uh, update to the game went live. Another update that went live, and they pointed out, was now there is a purchase acknowledgement screen when you go to buy a legendary parcel upgrade so that confirms to us and we have a for sure answer that yeah there was a problem there um, so I don't know specifically what that was maybe it was just uh, there wasn't an intermediary screen so it was easy if you had more than 2500 atlas bucks in your account there you're saving up for a tear jump or something or other it was easy to pull open uh, the shop and then you know you know how you pull it open and you scroll down to hit your two or one Atlas Buck uh, video. It was pretty easy because there's been some times where I've pulled this open and instead of hitting the two Atlas Bucks, I've accidentally hit the other one. But these other buy packages of parcels have an intermediary screen on. So there's no problem with that. Now, if you hit it twice in a row, I guess that's on you, right? Because you went through the acknowledgement. Either way, that update was put into place. So there shouldn't be any more of these accidental uh, legendary parcel upgrades. Now, another question uh, that came in and I had put in the previous video uh, that we had discussed, um, the question was, can debit cards be used um, in the AMP program here in the United States. Okay, so if you're from outside the United States, you can't use this yet, they're working on it, but it has to do, they're having to jump through and do all the paperwork to, um, it's all about credit cards and credit card laws and money laws in each particular country to be able to use it. Either way, here in the States, what we can do is we have an assortment of companies, uh, both on the internet and locally, you know, like uh, restaurants and stuff like that. We enroll our credit card, and then when we make a purchase at those companies that are specifically advertising through Atlas Earth, we get a certain amount of uh, Atlas bucks back. Like some, most of them are just one, sometimes they're two times, sometimes they're four times. Um, we've discussed this in previous videos, but that's the AMP program. Now, it specifically says credit card because it's written about the law around the laws that they have to subscribe to. And I'm not going to dig into this really deep, but I found some references um, of people discussing it and the moderators. Uh, uh, Mod Manning actually replying on a few of those where um, this is the answer. Okay, only credit cards are supported by Atlas Earth for this program because there's a lot of red tape and a lot of rules around how you can use credit cards, how you can use debit cards. Now, with that said, sometimes debit cards work. And when I put this last video out, I had several people reply that they said, hey, my debit card works fine. And then other people replied, hey, my debit card doesn't work fine. Um, and then I had some uh, a few people reply what exactly was uh, supported. So cre only credit cards are supported. Now, with that said, like I said, sometimes de debit cards can work if they're ran as a credit card. like. Uh, when you go to run the transaction, if it's run as a credit card, it can work possibly. Is this supported by the AMP program or by the company? No. So there's your answer. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, if if you try to do it with a debit card uh, and it doesn't work, they're not going to support you. Okay. So that's item number three, I guess. Okay, I saw that uh, Mod Manning dropped this in Reddit and on Discord today, so I did want to bring this up, and I have uh, you'll find out that I have very strong opinions on this because I have been in IT for years, and um, I've kind of worked my way out of IT, although I still have my fingers in it a little bit and customer support and things of this nature in my company. Um, but um, here we go. Uh, basically, he's uh, this this topic covers a lot of problems and questions, especially with new users that I see on Reddit um, and also in the Discord about people asking, hey, what do I do? I'm having this problem, I'm having this problem. You know what it does? It boils down to put in a ticket. People don't like to hear that, right? Um, but from a ticketing per, uh, system background, okay, these systems for customer support are set up to hopefully efficiently solve your problem. Okay, and when you try to circumvent that by instead of putting just put in a ticket um, to start the, the customer support uh, 
process, um, going directly to somebody and trying to circumvent it or going to Discord or going just, you know, putting your problems somewhere other than in an IT ticket is less a lot less efficient in getting you back up and running and getting your problem solved. Okay, I'll leave that there. Um, and I'm not gonna read through this whole thing. I'll leave a link in the show notes so you can check it out. But like I said, it can be found on Reddit and they pinned it and it's also on Discord. Um, thoughts on our approach to customer support. I want to share my perspective on how we review customer support at Atlas Earth. Our team is dedicated to providing players with the best possible experience, which we believe is achieved through effective chat interactions. To this end, we offer chat support on both our website and mobile apps, allowing us to quickly address any player issues. Okay. Then the next paragraph, they go into how they're ramping up. Obviously, they're they're going they're opening in a lot more countries around the world. A lot more people are playing the game, um, so they have to ramp up their support. Not only do they have to ramp it up numbers wise, but they have to ramp it up as far as hours covered because now you're around the world, you have to cover more time zones um, and uh, on the weekends, etc. So. They go on to say, as we expand internationally, we're committed to ensuring coverage across weekends and all operating hours. Um, they, he goes into how they examine and dis, uh, uh, every morning uh, before anything else, he checks the response times to make, the, the, make sure that the, uh, the help queue is going smoothly. So this, this shows that they've got a lens on the problem and they're trying to make sure that uh, everybody gets support as quickly as possible. Uh, we see our support team as a specialized technical support resource. We, uh, while general inquiries about the game can be answered through the FAQs, very good FAQ section on um, on their website uh, under the help section and community forums, our team is focused on resolving technical issues. That's why we recommend contacting Atlas Support directly. It allows us to access your player information, investigate issues efficiently, and if necessary, collaborate with our product and engineering teams to address technical challenge. Uh, so basically put, put in a ticket with proof because you can attach it with a little button, uh, you know, screenshots, etc. Um, one of the biggest things that I hear is people, hey, I didn't get my Atlas Bucks uh, for a game I played, right? Well, the simplest way to get your Atlas Bucks is to put in a ticket, attach two screenshots, the first screenshot uh, showing what you need for a certain accomplishment, and then the second screenshot in game of proof that you accomplished that. I've done this a few times. Uh, this is a common problem. Um, and uh, I got answered back and my credited Atlas Bucks within two days. So I'm not saying they're all that easy, but the first step is uh, putting a ticket in, right? Uh, the, next, uh, the next paragraph goes into saying, uh, boiling it basically down to... Um, there's an efficient way to get your problem solved, which is put a ticket in and start the start the support process. And there's an, a less efficient uh, way uh, to go about it. Go to the boards and start talking about your problem on the boards and hope somebody else has got a, a, an answer. OK. Um, and or uh, trying to circumvent and go straight to like mod manning or something like that. OK, so there's another issue there. And I've had this happen to me. It's it's not exactly the most efficient thing for the boss or whoever's higher up in the uh, in the scale in the company who has a lot of other things to do to to be spending time um, kind of looking at this low end uh, problem, which they have a full support team over there that is made in a process to actually help you with. OK, enough said that. Um, lastly, I want to emphasize that our support team members are real people on the other end of your chat with a few automated bots to assist on the front end. Uh, we're seeing a lot more AI woven into these support processes, but they have real people there that are, um, uh, you know, doing the less mundane things, things that they have to actually go in and track and, and look at your account, things like that. Uh, I understand that frustrations can arise, and I ask that you remember our team is here to help and is passionate about making your experiences enjoyable as possible. We love what we do and are excited to grow alongside our player community. Earthers, thank you for being a part of Atlas Earth Manning Field, COO Atlas Reality. So not only is Mod Manning a mod over on Reddit answering your questions on a daily basis, but he's also or, uh, he's also the COO of Atlas Reality. Okay, so uh, that last point there is worth, <coughs> excuse me, is worth um, double saying there, uh, repeating, is that uh, when you're in support, oftentimes, I've also uh, worked various other kinds of support, uh, worked in stores and things like that, you get treated like dirt, right? 
the old saying is you get more, uh, you attract more with honey than you do with vinegar. So just be nice to people. They're trying to help you out. Just be nice and uh, hopefully they'll get your problem solved uh, that much quicker. Okay, now we're going to wrap this up and I've got one juicy tidbit for you. Something I found while fishing around out over on Discord. And people have brought this up on various videos uh, in comments section before, but I didn't really have an answer either way because I had not heard anything about it. Now, um, uh, the question goes basically, like, there's a lot of people interested in uh, customizing their um, little Atlas Earth guy. He's an astronaut. Um, customizations to the astronaut. And I hadn't heard anything about it until I was looking on Discord today. And guess what? Customization is going to be a thing. When is it going to happen? I don't know. Uh, because the uh, mod would not comment on that. And they would also not comment on exactly which way they're going as far as customization, what will be available. However, keep an eye out for it. And we'll talk about it when we have more details. But it's going to be a thing. Uh, sooner than later? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see added to the game as far as customization goes. And anything else we talked about on this video, let me know if you have anything to say on it. Other than that, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I'll see you in Atlas Earth. Mm -hmm.